Hello friends, welcome back to Sale 3 Pro Tips and Tricks YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how you can design compound curve in Civil 3D. As you can see on my screen that I have alignment and one inter PI point. Now let's draw a compound curve. I'll start, uh, I clicked my alignment, go to my geometry editor. Here uh, on the fourth, you get options, free compound spiral curve, spiral curve. So you click that. Then it asking you select your tangent before. Then select tangent after. Now it asking me specify curve one radius. Let's say any radius one fifty. Then asking me specify curve radius two. Let's say two fifty. Uh, spiral one twenty five. Spiral two twenty five and spiral three twenty five. Now you can select on this length, click anywhere and then click this and OK. So here your compound curve is created. You can anytime go and change this values. You can play around. If you want to change radius, you can play also. I'm sorry, uh, let's say 400. So yeah. After that, you can anytime change your spiral value, your curve radius, or anything. So, this is one method of creating compound curve. Let's see another method. Oh, let me delete this and delete this. Now let's go for the another method. Another method is same. You can go on fourth option. Here you have floating curve with spiral. So click this. Select your alignment, and it asking you radius. Let's say 18, uh, 180, and the spiral value 30. Enter less than 180. Enter, and just click wherever you want. That's done. Now again you go on the same options. Floating curve with spiral, click this, asking you radius, let's say uh, 350 and the spiral line in between 25, hit OK and it is asking you go through point, click this, OK and then you can go for the option on third, you can select fixed spiral or you can select from here floating line with the spiral so i'll select this floating line with spiral i select my call now it's asking me spiral line so let's say 30 and the tangent line 25 so that is done you can anytime extend this tangents and also if you want to change the curve direction you can click this point and just play around wherever you want so this is another method of uh, compound curve now if you don't want that spiral in between then what you can do let's see <laughs> i don't want spiral in between i'll delete this delete this i'll go for uh, here and go for the my uh, floating curve options so like this and let's say my radius 350 And it is asking me end direction. Click this. Okay, you can anytime increase this. That's done. So if you go over here, you can see our spiral 30 and then 180 and then the 350 radius curve. Then again, you can go for the option. Now, this time I will choose the option fixed spiral. I click this, click here. Now it's asking me what kind of curve is this. I select in curve and the direction is the clockwise and uh, spiral length is 30. And my radius before is 350 and enter. So in that way also you can design your compound curve. In this method there is no spiral in between. So there are some time they will uh, enter the spiral curve in between two compound curve or there are you don't get that much 
uh, uh, space to provide a, a spiral in between two compound curves. So that's how you will design your compound curve in Civil 3D. Thank you. Thanks for watching this video.